Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how you can start your career as a data engineer. So even if you are just getting started or else if you come from a different background and you want to switch your domain as a data engineer, then also it is possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. So now first let's talk about what really is a data engineering field. So the data engineers are responsible for designing, building and maintaining the data infrastructure. So it is like the foundation for every data driven organizations. So the data engineers will ensure that the data moves smoothly without any issues as well as the solution that they have provided should be highly available as well as highly scalable since every industry is generating lots of data and to able to handle that velocity and the amount of data at that time every data engineer should ensure that the architecture that they have provided should be a highly scalable one. So I hope you understood what really is a data engineering field as well as their roles and responsibilities. But now let's talk about how to build your foundational knowledge to get into data engineering. So the first one is you have to build your foundation and get some degree in the field of computer science, data engineering or some related field where you will get all the basic knowledge about computer science as well as the data warehousing, SQL as well as the programming languages. Also you can attend and complete some of the online courses which are provided by Udemy as well as the Coursera. I'll be giving some of the best courses I know in the description below so that you can go through them and build your data knowledge. So this was all about the foundational knowledge but you have to master some of the skills to be able to get into data engineering. So the first one is you have to master any of the programming languages like R, Python which is mandatory for data analysis. Also you should know all about the data modeling as well as the data warehousing concept and you should be having a good SQL knowledge which is required to handle structured data as well as you should be having like hands-on knowledge on the big data technologies like Hadoop, Apache Spark, with Python or Scala whatever the language you know and there are so many more out there. Also nowadays every data engineer should also have a knowledge on any of the cloud platforms out there which are like Azure, AWS as well as the GCP. And if you are interested, you can also complete some of their certifications provided by Azure, AWS and also GCP has some of the best certifications out there. So you can definitely check it out and it will be like a great addition to your resume as well as the profile and it will certainly boost your confidence. So if you want to achieve like a Azure certification, then we already have the guidance videos where I talked about how we can complete Azure Data Engineer certification in just a week. It is very possible. So I recommend you to go through that video and let me know in the comments if you have some new ideas. Also, there is one area where most of the peoples out there will ignore, which is like building your own portfolio. So I think you should go ahead and demonstrate your skill by building a small project. So you can just build data pipelines as well as design databases and your data solution end to end smaller projects and it is totally possible to set up on your local machine and also you can upload them into your own GitHub repository so that you can showcase on your resume in front of the recruiters. That will be a great addition in your resume as well and it will improve your chances to get screened in for the interviews with the biggest companies in the world today. Also in addition to this, I'll recommend you to get some internship or an entry level position in the field of data engineering to get some hands on experience. Because if you have hands on experience then your chances to get into data engineering will get higher and higher because hands on experience is all it needed in the field of data engineering. Because everyone has the theoretical knowledge but if you can apply that theoretical knowledge in the real world to solve the business problems then that is the major value that data engineer has to create. So definitely you should look out for the entry level positions as well as the internship. I'll also highly recommend you to connect to LinkedIn professionals. Also I, also I highly recommend you to connect professionals on LinkedIn as well as join data engineering forums because you have to stay updated in the world of big data because 
data engineering field is evolving rapidly and you have to learn newer technologies which comes day by day and replace another technologies so you have to stay updated to improve your chances to get into data field and also you should parallelly prepare for the interviews so you have to get on top and practice sql and programming languages on a daily basis so that you will not lose a touch on these technologies and also you should focus on the communication skills because it is very important in any job your problem solving ability as well as the soft skills are required in any field in the world so you have to just keep practicing and attend the interviews and don't get demotivated if you are rejected everyone face rejections in their life so you have to stay motivated and keep trying until you get your dream job and that's all this is all you have to do to get into data engineering so i hope you like this video so please consider subscribing and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching